Okay, so when the kids are young, it's easy to get caught up in the rush of everyday life. We're juggling work, household tasks, kids' activities. There's a lot going on and there's not much time left for resting and recharging. But if you can find a way to slow down a little, you'll find yourself feeling less stressed, more connected with your family and happier with your life. So today we're going to look at a few ways that you can simplify your day-to-day life with young children and enjoy a calmer, more peaceful experience as a parent. Okay, the first tip, you've heard me say this before, declutter your home, but do it the easy way. When your house is full of clutter, it feels like your life and your mind are also full of clutter. So if you make small decluttering steps part of your regular day-to-day life, you will feel much more organized and much less stressed. Now, my favorite way to declutter is to always have one donation bag set out in a specific part of the house, same place every time. And as I go through my week, whenever I see something or pick something up that I know we don't need anymore, I just pop it into that bag and then move on with my day. And then when the bag is full, sometimes it takes one week, sometimes it takes a couple of weeks. But when it's full, that's when I just tie it up, pop it in the back of the car, and it's ready for drop off when I'm next out and about and I see a donation bin. All right, the next step we're going to do is create gentle routines. I like to think of these as rhythms. I think Brooke McCallery first said rhythms instead of routines, and it really resonated with me Um, because routines aren't really helpful when they're rigid. But if you have a gentle rhythm in your day, that can work wonders because it's kind of like you're following a pattern. You're not focused on an hourly schedule, but more on time blocks, you know, like morning, afternoon, evening, or getting tasks like getting ready for school or the after dinner, bath and bed scenario. So yeah, a pattern or a rhythm or a flow to your day helps it become a little bit more predictable for both you and the kids. And that makes things much less chaotic and helps you feel a little bit more in control of your day. So one example, uh, mornings. Okay, so mornings are the time that we make breakfast, we get ready for the day, we put on a load of laundry, and then we take care of some errands. Afternoon, that's when we take care of homework, we cook dinner, we wash dishes as we cook. And then evenings after dinner, that's when we do bath time and bedtime for the kids. And then we take an hour or two to relax as parents. And then we take a warm, relaxing shower before bed. And you can also just give your bathroom counters a quick wipe and the toilet a quick swish before you actually get into the shower. And then your bathroom cleaning is taken care of, but it hasn't felt like another job. So yeah, rhythms work really, really well. The third idea is to prioritize self-care. And I really, really think this one's important because it's easy to slip into the habit of serving everybody else and putting your needs last. But yeah, taking care of yourself, I think it's crucial to being able to take care of other people. So plan self-care activities like a walk or time for meditation or a long bubble bath or a hobby that you like to do. Plan it into your week just like you would a doctor's appointment for the kids and then you're more likely to actually do it. Now, if you're really short on time for self-care and the kids are really young, build it into your evening shower time, right? So once the kids go to bed, take a book or a magazine, lock yourself in the bathroom, run the bath, and then relax for a full hour. You can bring your manicure kit in with you and give yourself a hand treatment after you get out, or you can pop a face mask on and give yourself a little beauty routine at the same time, a little bit of pampering. Treat yourself to a set of beautiful towels, beautiful face cloths, and a fluffy robe just for you, just for this purpose. And that way, it's like you've created your own little spa to escape to so that you can unwind after a busy day. Okay, my next idea is to simplify your household tasks. So you can delegate tasks to family members, but start with the ones that don't have to be done a certain way so that you don't have to micromanage them. And then you can outsource. You don't have to outsource to cleaners every week if you're not ready for that, but you can outsource your oven clean, deep clean once a year. You can systemize your meal planning or outsource that. You can create a really simple cleaning routine if you need to do it yourself. Um, For example, I focus on one room each day and I do four steps every time and they go like this, rubbish out, put things away, dust or spray and wipe surfaces and then take care of the floor, either sweep or vacuum or mop. If your kids are little, you can do those four tasks separately throughout the day. 
Each one only takes a few minutes. So you can take the rubbish out first thing in the morning. You can put things away after lunch. You can give it a dust or a spray and wipe for your surfaces in the afternoon. And you can do the floors after dinner time, right? Five minutes, four times a day. Now with the laundry, you can set theme days. So try something like towels on Mondays, um, kitchen cloths and dishes and, you know, tea towels on Tuesdays, parents' clothes on Wednesdays, kids' clothes on Thursdays, parents' bedding on Friday, kids' bedding on Saturday, and then take Sunday off. Okay, the next idea is tech boundaries. Keep your technology boundaries really simple because that makes it easier to stick to them. A few examples would be things like our family rule is devices away at 8 p.m. or no devices at the dinner table or for parents, no work messages or emails after 5 p.m. You'd be surprised how quickly that becomes normal when you keep it simple like that. And your boundaries will change over time as your kids get older. So don't pressure yourself to find and set the perfect technology boundary now. Just go with what feels easiest to remember and manage at this stage of your parenting journey. Okay, I hope you found these ideas helpful. If you're ready for next steps in organizing your home and life the easy way, you might want to check out my popular house and family binder. It's a simple set of prints to help you get organized and run your household without stress and overwhelm. So I will leave a link in the description for you to check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.